Nine hours only of factory authorized sales event. Save an additional 20% off on Flex Steel and Hooker Furniture. And all Kingsdown betting has been reduced. It's the Story and Lee's incredible nine hour sale this Saturday only at 12 noon. The Summit of Lawrenceburg is the premier senior and assisted living community in the region. The Summit makes it home for you or your loved one with diverse suites that welcome and encourage community, plus gathering spaces, neighborhoods, daily activities, and a wonderful staff that supports you every day. Hi, I'm Tara Blue. I'm the new director of the Summit, and we would like to invite you and your family to come into our facility. We would love to see you here. For decades, First Class Charter has provided high quality motor coach transportation services to the Tennessee Valley. With numerous safety and cleanliness accreditations, First Class Charter is ready to make your group trip a reality. Contact us today by visiting firstclasscharter.net. First Class Charter, the official motor coach company of the North Alabama Lions. Flooring sets the tone throughout your home. For flooring that makes the right first impression, start by choosing us, Floored by Justin. A one-stop flooring destination. Our new location stands alone for unequaled customer service and selection. Owner Justin Story's mastery of custom hardwood inlays means every room can have a custom look. Discover how the right choice of hardwood, laminate, carpet, or tile can set the tone in your home. Contact Floored by Justin today. Make your property rock and roll with services from GNS Excavating, specializing in white sand, compost, mulch, topsoil, landscape gravel, and still landscape edging. Turn to the pros who know how to make your project shine with years of experience. The best part is they're locally owned and operated. Choose from a vast selection of mulch and rock from their conveniently located facility at number three Valley Road in Lawrenceburg, just off Buffalo Road. Phone 931-279-3841 and get started today. Here at Heritage Automotive, experience the difference. With our great sales department, service department, and parts department. Now offering up to $10,000 off on all Chevy and GMC model 1500s. And we have over 30 lenders with some of the best rates in the market. Hi, it's Tag with Heritage Automotive. We want you to know when it comes to your vehicle, you deserve help, not hassle. With our 30 plus years of experience of being your local dealership, we're here to serve you. So whether it's routine maintenance, mechanical repairs, collision repairs, we're here to help. So give us a call today to schedule your service. Heritage Automotive, expect more, experience the difference. Hey, this is Phil Hooper. Get the look you want for your favorite school, church, or business with apparel from HD Inc. Screen Printing in Leoma, Tennessee. Got a logo you need embroidered or screen printed? Let HD Inc. give you the professional look that sets the bar in today's world. We do fundraisers and custom designed apparel and so much more. Call today, 931-201-2961 or come see us at our new shop located at 26 Ingram Road in Leoma. Remember, HD Inc. for the look you want and the look you deserve. If you're stuck, then you're in luck. Call Tower McDowell with in-service towing, 24 hours a day, seven days a week for quick, reliable service. When you find yourself in a bind, in-service offers full service towing and recovery services as well, as vehicle lockouts, jump starts, and emergency roadside assistance. Family owned, family operated. When you need a hand, call in-service towing or ask for them by name. Serving Southern Tennessee and North Alabama. Phone number 931-843-9098 or visit inservicespecialties.com. A moment in real estate with my dad, Jeff Lee. You know, I get asked a lot about what the market's going to do, how's the real estate market. I've been selling real estate for a long time, and nobody has a crystal ball. And you know what? When it's your time to buy or your time to sell, it really doesn't matter what the market's doing. It's your time, and you have to do something, maybe. What makes a difference is the agents and the experience that go to work for you. We're Keller Williams Hood Company, located here in Lawrenceburg, Tennessee. We can help. Hood Company, powered by Keller Williams, the number one name in real estate. 
Are you looking for the perfect refrigerator? What about a new stove or washer or dryer? It only makes sense to shop at the one place that specializes in appliances, top to bottom, big or small. And that's Kelly Appliance in Lawrenceburg. Kelly Appliance is home to all major name brands, including LG. LG makes life good with a full selection of refrigerators, cooking appliances, dishwashers, microwaves, and more, including appliances made right here in Tennessee. Family owned and family operated. Stop by Kelly Appliance on Jerry Street in Lawrenceburg today. Whether you're looking to spruce up the interior or exterior of your home or business, trust Lawrenceburg Glass to provide a one-of-a-kind product. From windows to mirrors, shower doors, custom framing, storefront installations, and everything in between, Lawrenceburg Glass takes pride in our quality craftsmanship and strong attention to detail. With us, your customer experience always exceeds expectations. We're reliable, on time, and we deliver stunning results. Lawrenceburg Glass. Our passion is reflected in our work. Distance with local sports. This is the X Sports Network. And welcome everybody to Jim Chance Field as we're here for today's matchup between your Lawrence County Lady Cat softball team versus the Merceboro Central Magnet Lady Tigers. And starting things off for Lawrence County will be number seven, Maddie Dollar, number two, Michaela Kerr. Maddie Dollar will be on third base, Michaela Kerr in center field. Number one, Maddie Newton uh, at the shortstop. Number 51, Riley Myers at first. 18, Elizabeth Hagen, the designated player, which will be pitching, starting things off on the mound for the Lady Cats. Number 15, Giselle Maldonado, the, the catcher. 19, Lynn K. King, the second baseman, number 13, Callie Brown, the right fielder, number 8, Lily Lloyd, the left fielder, and the flex player, number 6, Libby Burks. Lawrence County comes to this ball game 4-3 and three overall, 2-1 within their district, and Murfreesboro Central Magnet will be 2-4 and four overall and 0-3 and within their district. As once again, Lawrence County came off a big win on Monday against Franklin County as they're looking to improve – to three and one overall within their district. It's another big time matchup for both these teams. My name's Hayden Burks on the call here on the Egg Sports Network. Sorry. As I'm trying to get my notes here, I had a number change here for Merceboro Central. And starting things off for Merceboro Central will be number 17, Juliet Dash, the shortstop, leading things off. With number 8, Grace Carmichael, the catcher on deck. Lady Tigers, number 17, Dash. Number 8, Carmichael on deck. No else. So once again, Lawrence County, 2-1 within their district, district, district matchup here at Lawrence County. And it's time for Lady Cat Softball here on the Exports Network. 
Hagen starting things off on the mound for the Lady Cats. First pitch in there for strike one. There's a slight breeze here. Here's the one pitch outside for ball one. Here's the 1-1 one, one pitch by Hagen. Swung on four strike two, makes the 1-2 count now. Here's the 1-2 pitch by Hagen. Outside for ball two, makes the 2-2 two, two count now. Here's the 2-2 pitch. That swung on fouled. Count will stay the same at two across the board now. Here's the 2-2 pitch once again. Swing and miss, four strike three, and the first strike out here for Elizabeth Hagen. Hagen with one batter already up has her first strikeout. That will now bring up Carmichael. First pitch just outside for ball one. Here's the 1-0 pitch. That one swung on. Sent into left field. Lily Lloyd looking to get underneath that one, and she will make the play for the second out of the inning here in the top of the first. What a play by Lily Lloyd, and already two outs quickly. That will now bring up second baseman for her first bat, number 18, Peyton Nicholson. Here's first pitch by Hagen. High and away for ball one. Makes the 1-0 count now. Here's the 1-0 pitch. Inside for ball two. It's Hagen. Been the starter for most of the season here for the Lady Cats so far and has done a great job starting things off on the mound for the Lady Cats so, th so far through this season. Here's a 2-0 pitch. Swung on. And what a play by Riley Myers over at first. A line drive, and that will end the top of the first. So Lawrence County, three up, three down against the Central Magnet. Still no runs on the board. We'll be back for the bottom of the first here next on the Exports Network. Jack Davis Insurance, located at 201 West Gaines Street in Lawrenceburg, has you covered through all of life's obstacles. Facing those challenges is easier together. That's why Jack Davis specializes in group insurance. Cover the most valuable aspect of your business, your employees, with coverage for life, accident, cancer, critical illness, short-term disability, dental, and vision. Jack Davis can customize plans for every need. Serving Lawrence and surrounding counties since 1987. Contact Jack Davis Insurance today at 931-242-5225.
Lawrenceburg Flooring & More is your premier source for hardwood, laminate, luxury vinyl tile, sheet vinyl, residential and commercial carpet, carpet tiles, ceramic and porcelain tile, waterproof floating floor, plus blinds and shutters. Lawrenceburg Flooring & More is also home to all name brands and can tackle projects big and small. Installation? You're covered with installers who've got years of experience and stand behind their work. Let Lawrenceburg Flooring & More make your design dreams a reality. 2760 Highway 43 North or visit lawrenceburgflooringandmore.com Going the distance with local sports This is the X Sports Network As three batters up and three batters down against Central Magnet as now it's the bottom of the first here on the X Sports Network here on the campus of Lawrence County High School, as leading things off for the Lady Cats, will be number seven, Maddie Dollar, the third baseman, with number two, Michaela Kerr, the center fielder on deck. So, Lady Cats, they're first to bat here in this ball game. And starting on the mound will be number 10, Rachel Plonke. I do believe I'm pronouncing that correct. And first pitch, that will be just high four ball. One makes the one oh count now. She is a Maryville commit, I do believe. Here's the 1-0 pitch. That is a bun tip, and that will be fouled. Count will now be 1-1. One, one. Here's the 1-1 one, pitch to Dollar. Another bun attempt. That will be laid down over the first. Not in time, and Maddie Dollar will be safe. What a attempt there by Maddie Dollar. And that ends up being a bun attempt for a single. Now brings up Michaela Kerr up to the plate. Her first at bat. Here's first pitch. In there for strike one. Dollar will take off for second and end time with a no throw. So already quickly runners in position here for Lawrence County. Excuse me, runner in position. Here's the one count to Kerr. And she sends that one into right field. That will get down for a base hit. That will score a run. And that's actually going to be a triple now here from Michaela Kerr. She's going to get down. That gets away. And that's an RBI triple by Michaela Kerr. And already Lawrence County off to a hot start. What a play by Michaela Kerr. She sent that into right field. Went all the way to the wall. And that's a run scored for Lawrence County. Now brings up the shortstop, number one, Addie Newton, for her first at bat. First pitch. That one is swung on, sent into left field. And they're not able to get underneath that one. That's going to be another run scored. Kerr will score 2-0 Lawrence County. It's been all Lawrence County so far early in this game. Now brings up first baseman, number 51, Riley Myers. Already Lawrence County off to a good start. Here's the pitch. That's going to be swung on. 
That will be fouled down the left field line, makes it 0-1 count now. As that was Megan Weber in left field, unable to get underneath that one and collect it for the E7. Here's the pitch. That's low for ball one. Makes the 1-1 one -one count now. Lawrence County already. Their fourth batter here already with two runs after the RBI triple by Michaela Kerr in right field and the RBI single by Addie Newton after the E7. Or excuse me, the RBI double, my apologies. Here's the pitch. That one is sent into center field. That's gone, and you can say goodbye. Home run by Riley Myers, and it's already a 4 nothing lead, Lawrence County. As the bats are hot for Lawrence County, they now lead 4 to nothing here in the bottom of the first. We'll have a mound meeting here for Central Magnet. That will now bring up number 18, the opposing pitcher, Elizabeth Haken, for her first at bat. And already through four batters, there has been four runs scored. Everybody that's been at the plate has scored a run here for Lawrence County. Here's first pitch to Elizabeth Hagen. Swung on for strike one, and as, as the bats have been hot so far for Lawrence County, that one was in there, and it looked good for Hagen. Oh, one pitch now to Hagen. As that one is sent, fouled. Count will now be 0 2 now. Here's the 0-2 pitch to Hagen. Low for ball one, 1-2 one, count now. Still no outs here in the bottom of the first. Here's the 1-2 pitch outside for ball two. Evens count up two balls, two strikes. Here's the 2-2 pitch. Low for ball three, full count now for Hagen. So here's Plonky with the full count pitch to Hagen. As that one is swung on, seeing in the center field. Almost over the wall. That will hit the wall, and Hagen will be safe for the single at first. As that had the distance, and it looked like it was over the wall. Now brings up number 15, Giselle Maldonado. With number 19, Lenny Kate King on deck. 
we're going to have another infill meeting here for Central Magnet. Looks like it will be a pitching change in the process too. Looks like Weber will make her way out to the dugout. And while that change is being made, we will take a commercial break as Lawrence County leads Central Magnet four to nothing here in the bottom of the first. This is Lady Cat Softball here on the X Sports Network. At Lawrenceburg Federal Bank, we're proud to be locally owned and operated because we're not just a bank, we're family. When you call, you'll be greeted by a friendly representative who's ready to discuss your banking needs, as well as offer our competitive rates on CDs and money market accounts. Our loan decisions are made in-house and never sold to a secondary market because our commitment is simple. You matter to us. At Lawrenceburg Federal, we offer all the conveniences of larger banks with a personal touch. Join us at Lawrenceburg Federal Bank, where community, trust, and service come together. Lawrenceburg Flooring & More is your premier source for hardwood, laminate, luxury vinyl tile, sheet vinyl, residential and commercial carpet, carpet tiles, ceramic and porcelain tile, waterproof floating floor, plus blinds and shutters. Lawrenceburg Flooring & More is also home to all name brands and can tackle projects big and small. Installation? You're covered with installers who've got years of experience and stand behind their work. Let Lawrenceburg Flooring & More make your design dreams a reality. 2760 Highway 43 North or visit lawrenceburgflooringandmore.com Going the distance with local sports This is the X Sports Network So at first we'll pee in there as not in time, as welcome back here on the X Sports Network. After a pitching change, Weber will now be on the mound. After Lawrence County now leads four to nothing here in the top of the, or excuse me, the bottom of the first. That last pitch was a ball. That will be foul. Makes the one-one count now. Here's next pitch. Just outside for ball two. Makes a two up two one count now. Two one pitch. In there four strike one makes a two two count now for Maldonado. Runner on second. Here's the pitch. Swung on. That'll be fouled into the Lawrence County dugout. Count will stay the same at 2-2. Two -two. Here's pitch. Inside four ball three makes the full count once again. Full count pitch. That will be high and away for ball four. Still no outs. Runners on first and second now for Lawrence County. Brings up number 19, Lady Kate King, the second baseman. For Lawrence County, her first bat with Callie Brown, the right fielder, on deck. Yeah, Staggs will be the cursey runner for a Maldonado on first. Here's the pitch. That'll be outside for ball one. Is that 
is actually Walker over at first. Swung on for strike one. Here's one one pitch. Be high for ball two. Two one count now. For Lady Kate King. Two one pitch. Outside for ball three. Three one count now. Three one pitch. High for ball four and bases are loaded with Callie Brown on the plate now. Still no outs here in the bottom of the first as Lawrence County leads Central Magnet four to nothing. First pitch to Kelly Brown. So that'll be high for ball one. There's one old pitch. Is that swung on? Is that will be out number one, line drive over the second baseman. That was Nicholson for the first out. Now brings up Lily Lloyd. First pitch, high for ball one. Here's the 1-0 pitch to Lloyd. High for ball two. Here comes 2-1 pitch. Outside for ball three and already three pitches to Lloyd, 3-0 count now. Here comes the 3-0 pitch. That will be inside for ball four, and that will score a run here for Lawrence County. So Lawrence County, after that walk, now leads five to nothing. Now brings the top of lineup. Once again, Maddie Dollar. Her last at bat had a bunny tip that ended up in a single. First pitch inside for – Excuse me, outside that is for ball one. So one pitch. Outside for ball two, two oh count now. Two oh pitch. High for ball three now. 3 0 count once again. Here comes the 3 0 pitch. Outside for ball four and a four pitch walk once again. That will be another run scored. Lawrence County leads six to nothing. Brings up Michaela Kerr. Her first at bat earlier in this bottom of the first inning had a RBI triple. First pitch to Kerr. Low for ball one. As Addie Newton on deck for the Lady Cats. Here's 1 0 pitch. In there for strike one, makes 1 1 count now.
1-1 pitch. Inside for ball two. Runners will take off, and that will be a run scored. And now runners will advance to second and third after stolen bases. Now Lawrence County leads 7 to nothing. That last pitch was a ball. Makes a 2-1 count now for Kerr. Two one pitch. Swung on. That will be fouled. Count will now be 2-2. Two -two. Two, two pitch. That will be swung on. Ground ball, that gets into center field, and that will be two runs scored. And Kerr will be safe at second after the two RBI double now. As Lawrence County now leads nine to nothing. And it has been all Lawrence County here in the bottom of the first. The last pitch will be in there for strike one. Gets away from the catcher. And Kerr will take off for third and end time. A one pitch. High and away for ball one. Makes a 1-1 one -one count now for Newton. And as Newton heard last at bat, had a RBI double after the E7. And one one pitch. Swung on. Fouled. Count now be 1-2. Still one out here in the bottom of the first. It's... A little bit of a breeze and a little chilly here at Lawrence County, but that doesn't seem to affect the bats here for the Lady Cats. Here's one two pitch. Swung on, fouled once again. Count will stay the same. Here comes the one two pitch once again. Is that will hit Newton and she will try over to first. And runners on the corner for Lawrence County. Brings up Riley Myers, the first baseman, after she hit that nuke into center field for the two RBI home run. And it looks like we're going to have another pitching change, it looks like. The starter, Plonky, will come back into the game. And while that change is being made, we'll go back to commercial break. It's Lawrence County leads 9 to nothing here in the bottom of the first. Runners on first and second. You're watching Lee Cat Softball here on the Exports Network. LUS is committed to our customers, from providing and maintaining energy-efficient utility services to friendly, helpful customer service. LUS is there. At LUS, we're always challenging everything we know, every day. We strive to improve efficiency and reliability while focusing on our responsibility to our customers and the community. It's our promise to provide dependable service to our customers every time. Because we don't just work in Lawrence County, we live here too. What really matters during the ball game, we're at that point in the season where some are just beginning, some have already ended, and others are at that point where it's either win or go home. Depending on what your perspective is, it changes everything, doesn't it? In 2 Corinthians 4 and verse 18, we're reminded we don't look at the things that are seen, but at the things that are unseen. For the things that are seen are temporary, but the things that are unseen are eternal. Keep your focus, keep your perspective on the right things, the things of God, the eternal things. And that message brought to you by your friends at the Leoma Church of Christ. Going the distance with local sports. This is the X Sports Network. Now 
And back here on the Exports Network after another pitching change by Central Magnet. Plonky will be back on the mound. The original starter for the Lady Tigers as Lawrence County leads. 9 to nothing here in the bottom of the first with runners on the corner. Now brings up Riley Myers once again. Here's the pitch. Inside for ball one. As Newton will take off for a second. She will be in time runners at first and – excuse me, second and third now for the Lady Cats. Here's that one count. That will be in there for a strike two. Makes the 0-2 count now for Myers. Excuse me, that first pitch was a ball. 1-1 one, one count now. Here's the pitch. Swung on. That one sent into center field. That will get down. And that will be a single for Riley Myers. Now brings up Elizabeth Hagen. Here's the pitch. That'll be swung on, sent into center field. Excuse me, down short. That will be out number three, and that will end the bottom of the first. As I'm not exactly sure where that second out came from, but that's the third out now here in the bottom of first as Lawrence County leads nine to nothing here going into the top of the second. We'll be back here on the Exports Network. Are you looking for a non-factory job environment? Livingstone Freight Solutions is a 3PO company that began managing warehouses in Tennessee, Alabama, and Mississippi. With our multiple shifts and experienced management team, our goal is to give you as an employee a safe family work environment and competitive wages. We offer a wide variety of employment opportunities from forklift drivers to management level positions. We also strive to offer a competitive benefit package and PTO options. For more information or to apply, visit us at livingstonefs.com or give us a call at 931-2 why should you bank with employee resources credit union we offer a wealth of services including mobile banking video banking bill pay and more we also offer loan rates that are lower than those of our competitors employee resources credit union has been a financial pillar since 1964 providing long-time support to members of the community. Join us and become part of the ERCU commitment. Not for profit, for service. Going the distance with local sports. This is the X Sports Network. And back here at Jim Chance Field here on the campus of Lawrence County High School. As it has been all the Lady Cats here against the Lady Tigers. Lady Cats lead 9 to nothing going into the top of the second. Leading off for Central Magnet will be the first baseman, number five, Taylor Nickerson, her first at bat. Here's the pitch by Hagen. That one's high for ball one. Here's a 1 0 pitch to Hagen. High for ball two, 2 0 count now.
comes 2-0 count. That was swung on. That will be fouled, 2-1 count now. So that was fouled down the left field line. Over to Central Magnets third base coach. Here comes 2-1 pitch on the outside edge of the plate. 2-2 count now. Swing and miss, four strike three. Second strike out here for Elizabeth Hagen. That's the first out now. Here in the top of the second. That will now bring up number 33, Ashley Davis, the right fielder for the Lady Tigers. And it has been all Lawrence County so far in this ball game. Here's first pitch. Swung on, tip foul, in for strike one. There's a one pitch. Swung on four, strike two. And Hagen looking to – looks like she's in a little bit of a groove here for the Lady Cats. There's already two strikeouts here in this ball game. Here's 0-2. That one is high for ball one. One-two count now. Here comes the one-two pitch. Swung on. As Newton's able to scoop that one up and end time for the second out here in the top of the second. Jackson, the Brings up Bethany Jackson, the center fielder. Number 11 up to the plate for her first at bat for the Lady Tigers. Two outs here in the top of the second. First pitch, swung on. That'll be fouled. 0-1 count now. As after numerous highlight plays by the Lady Cats, they lead the Lady Tigers nine to nothing. As here's the one count. That one swung on sent into center field. Newt will get underneath that one, and that will end the top of the second. As Lawrence County. Able to play great defense. They still lead 9 to nothing. We'll be back for the top of the second here next on the Exports Network. Being raised in Tennessee, we believe in the importance of family and community. Creating a positive experience in our family-owned and operated business is one of the ways we share that belief. Being in an accident can be extremely stressful. When it came time for my repairs, Mashburn's made it easy. I am lucky to have a wonderful company in my community like Mashburn's Collision Center. It's reassuring to know that I'm in good hands because their work is second to none. We pride ourselves that the Mashburn name is one of the most trusted in Lawrence County since 1981. Mashburn's Collision Center. Let our family take care of yours. Shop McMaster's Home Gallery for furniture, appliances, and more. And shop quality, shop convenience, shop service, shop local. A family-owned business with a long history of serving the region. We're a one-stop home furnishings destination. We feature brands you know, competitively priced, backed by professional installation and service. You can trust that we'll take good care of you before and after the sale. For your home, shop smart. Shop McMaster's Home Gallery today. Going the distance with local sports. This is the X Sports Network. And back here at Jim Chance Field where it has been all Lawrence County as they lead 9 to nothing here in the bottom of the second. That will now bring number 15, Giselle Maldonado. 
up to the plate once again. Her last at bat, she was walked. Here's the first pitch. I'll be swung on fouled. 0-1 count now. Here's the one pitch. Swung on. Sit into center field. And they're not under able to get underneath that one. That will be a single for Giselle Maldonado. Courtesy runner coming in for Maldonado. As Nicholson was unable to get underneath that one for the E4. Now brings up number 19, second baseman Lady Kate King up to the plate. And she was also walked her last at bat. That one is sent, scout up in the air to short, and they're able to get underneath that one. That will be the first out here in the bottom of the second. Now brings up Callie Brown. Back up to the plate. She's 0 for 1 so far on the day for the Lady Cats. First pitch. In there for strike one. Here's that one pitch. Swung on. As that one is sent into center field, that will be the second out of the inning now. So back to back fly outs with Lily Lord now at the plate with Maddie Dollar on deck. As Lord was walked her last at bat. Here's pitch. Swung on sent over to second. And that will get into right field. As Lloyd will be safe at first. With runners on the corner now. Now brings up the top of the lineup for the Lady Cats. Maddie Dollar. Last at bat was walked as well. Her third at bat here in this ball game. Here's pitch to Dollar. Outside for ball one. Runner will take off for a second. As that will be a run scored now. And Loy will be safe at third. That last pitch was a ball, I do believe. So they tried to throw over to second to get Lloyd and it got into center field and she was able to make her way over to third and a run score was in the process. Here's pitch to Dollar. As that is a bun attempt laid down, it will be fouled. Makes the 1-1 count now. Here's one one pitch to Dollar. Outside for ball two. That's Lawrence County here in the bottom of the second. They lead 10 to nothing over the Lady Tigers of Central Magnet.
Here's a 2-1 pitch. There's another bunt attempt laid down, as that will be a run scored, and Dollar will be safe over at first. It's miscommunication here by Lady Tigers. And Lawrence Kane leaves 11 to nothing. Brings up number two, Michaela Kerr, back up to the plate. And she's had a great day, day so far. Her first bat had an RBI triple, then her last bat had a two RBI double. Here's first pitch. High for ball one. Here's the one over to Kerr. Low for ball two. Dollar will take off for second, and that will be not in time. And another successful stolen base for Maddie Dollar so far in this ball game. She's got two already. Two zero pitch. Low for ball three, and his dollar will take off once again the third, and that's now the third stolen base. 3-0 count now. Here's a 3-0 to Kerr, as that will be swung on. Sent into right field, as that will get down, and that will hit the wall. That will be a run scored. Kerr, she will stay put at second, and that will be another RBI double by Michaela Kerr, and what a game she's having. Now brings up Addie Newton once again. Her last bat was hit. Still two outs here in the bottom of the second. Here's the pitch to Newton. That'll be low for ball one. As Kerr thought about taking off for third, she decides to stay put. Lawrence County now leads 12 to nothing. Here's the 1-0 pitch. Swung on, fouled, 1-1 one, one count now. Here's 1-1 one, one count. High for ball two. 2-1 two, now for Newton. As Riley Myers is on deck. She's also had a fantastic game so far for Lady Cats. Her first about had a two RBI home run, a nuke into center field. Two one pitch. Low for ball three. Three one count now. Here's count now for Newton. Here comes the 3-1 pitch to Newton. That'll be swung on, fouled, full count now. With three balls, two strikes, two outs here in the bottom of the second. Kerr on second. Lawrence County leads the Lady Tigers of Central Magnet 12 to nothing. Nice full count pitch. That will be fouled once again. 
count will stay the same at full. Here comes full count pinch once again. High for ball four. And they will be not in time. So Kerr took off for third. They looked to pick off over there, and Kerr was able to get there in time. Now brings up number 51, first baseman, Riley Myers, back up to plate with Hagen on deck. Myers once again her first at bat had a two RBI home run. Here's the pitch. That one swung on. Sent into right field. That will be another run scored. Myers, she will make her way two seconds. She will be in time. And they called her out. And that will be the third out of the inning. As Orange County able to tack on several more runs. They now lead 13 to nothing. We'll be back for the top of the third here next on the Exports Network. Old School Rentals in Loretto, Tennessee is headquarters for all your rental equipment needs. Need a trailer? How about saws, tools, loaders, or generators? You can find all of that and much, much more at Old School Rentals. Owner Ryan Smith, located on North Main Street in Loretto, Tennessee. Oliver Wellness and Massage, located in Pulaski, Tennessee, is your premier spa for massage therapy, salt therapy, IV therapy, tanning, and much more. Stay relaxed, look your best, and feel good at Oliver Wellness, located at 1187 West College Street, Pulaski, Tennessee, or contact Haley at 931-309-0462 or schedule your appointment online at 931massage.com. Going the distance with local sports. This is the X Sports Network. And back here at Lawrence County, as Lawrence County leads Central Magnet 13 to nothing here in the top of third. As leading things off will be number one, Megan Weber, the left fielder. And we got a new pitcher on the mound for the Lady Cats, will be number four, Frakes. Here's the first pitch by Frakes. That one swung on, sent over to second. In time for the first out here in the inning. As after one pitch, one out now. Coming on one. Now brings up number zero, Paige Simmons, the third baseman, her first at bat for the Lady Tigers. Here's pitch by Frakes. That one swung on, sent into right field. And Callie Brown will get underneath that one for the second out here in the inning. And already two pitches by Frakes, two outs. Now brings up the designated player, number 22, coming. Her first bat. And on deck will be the top of lineup, number 17, the shortstop dash. Here's the pitch. In there for strike one. Here's that one pitch. That one swung on. Right back to Frakes, and that will end the top of the third. Three up, three down. Lawrence County going into the bottom of the third. They lead 13 to nothing. We'll be back here next on the Exports Network. 
Got primary care? Find your way to better health with primary care by One Stop Medical. With decades of combined experience, you'll find a one-on-one -on -one relationship just like the old days, but with the convenience and technology of today. When One Stop Medical does primary care, it's the best. Call today for an appointment and find your way to healthy living. Serving Lawrenceburg, Pulaski, and Hohenwald. Phone 931-244-8220. Primary care by One Stop Medical at its best. From our humble beginnings to today, Parks Lumber Company has continuously served Lawrence and surrounding counties for over a century. Although we started as a small lumber yard in 1896, we have grown to include everything you need to make your dream project come to life. No matter your building needs, our experienced staff will be with you every step of the way to ensure you receive the highest customer service and attention to detail you deserve. Visit us at 106 Second Street or on Facebook. We guarantee you will see working with PLC is as easy as one, two, three. Going the distance with local sports. This is the X Sports Network. And back here at Jim Chance Field where it has been all Lawrence County through two and a half innings going into the bottom of third here. Lawrence County leads 13 to nothing. As leading things off will be number four, Reagan Franks, her first at bat. As it has been all Lawrence County throughout this ball game after – they led nine to nothing in the bottom of the first, tagged on four more runs. Two lead, thirteen to nothing here going into the bottom of the third. As Reagan Freaks will be at the plate once again with number fifteen Giselle Maldonado on deck. As Plonky still trying to find her first strike out here in this ball game. As it's been a struggle here for this Lady Tiger team so far. Here's the first pitch to Frakes. That one swung on for strike one. Here comes the one count. Outside for ball one. It was count up one ball, one strike. Comes the 1-1 one, one pitch. Swing and a miss, four strike, two, one, two count now. Comes the 1-2 one, pitch. That will be... It's Freaks. Looks like on the knee, and she will try over to first. Brings up Giselle Maldonado. Her last bat had a single for Lawrence County. And number 19, Lady Kate King, will be on deck. Here's the first pitch. Low for ball one. Oh, 
It's a 1-0 pitch. As that one is swung on, and that will be fouled. Makes 1-1 one, one count now. This is Giselle, her third at bat here in this ball game. Her first bat was walked and then had a single, her last at bat. Here's the 1 1 pitch. That one swung on. That one will be fouled once again. Count now be 1 2. Here's a one-two pitch to Maldonado as runner will take off for second in time for Lawrence County. Two-two pitch. That will be swung on into right field. That will get down for the first out here in the bottom of third. Bring up second baseman, Lenny Kate King. Her third at bat here in this ball game. Last bat had a fly out. She is one for two on the day. Here's the pitch. High for ball one. Here's the pitch. That one is also high for ball two. Here's 2-0 pitch to King. That one is swung on, sent into left field, and that will be fouled in foul territory. Makes 2-1 two count now. Excuse me. Here's a 2-1 pitch. High for ball three, 3-1 three, count now. Here's count for King. Here comes a 3-1 pitch. I'll be in there for strike two, full count. Here's full count pitch. Low for ball four, and that will be a walk issued to King. Now brings up Kelly Brown. Up to the plate. She's 0 for 2 on the day. Looking to get on base for the first time here in this ball game. Still one out here in the bottom of third. Lawrence County leads 13 to nothing with runners on first and second. It looks like we're going to have a new pitcher. Coming into the game for Mercerboro Central. And while 
the new pitcher is coming in. We will go to commercial break here on the Exports Network. Do you ever worry about having too much in the garage? What about where you're going to put the mower or your ATV or better yet, your mother-in-law? Look no further than Quality Storage Buildings located right next door to Flat Rock Cheese and More on the Minor Hill Highway in Pulaski, Tennessee. There you'll find the answer to your need in a compact or spacious metal building. Built by hand right at Flat Rock by some of the finest craftsmen around, there's a perfect building for everyone, including economy, utility, cabin, lofted or garage models, and even an animal shelter line. Buy or rent to own? See the different models at Flat Rock or on North Main Street in Ardmore and on Highway 43 South in Dunn. Call today, 931-363-3603 or 931-201-2205. There are now more ways to save at Quick Mart. Become a Quick Club member and easily earn rewards on qualifying purchases at Quick Mart convenience stores using the Quick Club app. Available on the Apple App Store and Google Play. To save on Fuel for Work, use the Fuel Rewards Pro app to earn $0.05 cents a gallon on work fill-ups and redeem the savings for yourself. To get started, visit FuelRewards.com pro or download the app in the Apple App Store and Google Play. Going the distance with local sports. This is the X Sports Network. And back here on the Exports Network is that pitch. Will be in there for balls. We got a new pitcher on the mound. That will be number two. I don't have a name on that. I will get that as soon as possible. Here's the 1-0. I'm low for ball two, two oh count now. Two oh pitch, low for ball three. As runner will take off the third in time. So runners will advance to second and third now for Lawrence County. Three oh four Brown. Here's a 3-0 pitch. That'll be outside for ball four, a four-pitch walk here for Cali Brown. Bases loaded once again. And that will now bring up number eight, Lily Lloyd. Here's the pitch. High for ball one. And on deck will be number seven, Maddie Dollar, the third baseman. One little pitch outside. Four ball two, two oh count now. Here comes two oh pitch. Swung on four strike one, two one count now against Lloyd. Here comes 2-1 inside. That will actually be on the inside corner. 2-2 two -two count now. That will be sent over to short. Second out now here for Lawrence County in the bottom of third. Now bring up Ashley Sublet, her first at bat for the Lady Cats here in this ball game. Two outs now here in the bottom third, base is still loaded. Here's the pitch, high for ball one. Here comes the 1-0 pitch. 
in there for strike one. He was counted one ball, one strike. Here's one one. That was swung on. Foul down the left field line. One two count now for Sublet. That was one two count. As that one is hit into left field. That will be fouled once again into foul territory. Count will stay the same. One, two. Here's the pitch once again. Inside for ball two. Here comes the 2 2 pitch. As that one swung on, sent into right field, and that will end the bottom of third as Lawrence County still leads 13 to nothing. We'll be back for the top of fourth here next on the Exports Network. The Raptor Series from Hustler Turf, a premium line of residential mowers designed with a wide stance for operator comfort. A one-piece 11-gauge steel frame and welded steel deck for added durability. Finished off with premium Kawasaki V-Twin power. We are Hustler Turf. And this is Hustler Country. Don't just find a job. Find a career with Resource MFG. The team at Resource MFG in Lawrenceburg has the resources and experience to find you a full or part-time position right away. Now recruiting for open positions in Lawrence, Giles, and Murray counties. Whether you're entering the workforce for the first time or looking to take your career to the next level, let your journey begin with Resource MFG. Located at 300 Ellingson Street in Lawrenceburg, phone 931-570-2111 to jumpstart your career today. And back here at Lawrence County, as they still lead 13 to nothing here in the top of the fourth over Mercer Central Magnet Lady Tigers here in this district mashup. As Freaks will still be on the mound here for the Lady Cats. And leading things off will be number 17, Juliet Dash, the shortstop for her second at bat here in this ballgame. This is the first time for the Lady Tigers to be back at the top of the lineup late in this ballgame. Yes, here's the first pitch by Frakes. Is that will be swung on? That will be not in time, and that will get away from Franks, and that will be safe over at first. That brings Carl Michael back up to the plate for the Lady Tigers. It's pitch. So that will be in there for strike one. Here's that one pitch. That'll be swung on. Back over to Frakes. That will be in time over at first. As that was actually Maldonado able to pick that one up and throw it first. That's Nicholson back up to the plate now. 
for the Lady Tigers with Nickerson on deck. Looks like head coach Corey Rochelle and the home plate umpire having a lineup discussion. As it looks like Callie Brown will come out of the ball game and end the game for her in right field will be number six, Libby Burks. Here comes the pitch. So that'll be high for ball one. There's a 1-0 count. That'll be sent. And what a catch by Lenny Kate King in time for the double play. And that will end the top of the fourth as Lady Kate King will catch that one and get the double play. As we will be back here on the Exports Network for the bottom of the fourth as Orange County still leads 13 to nothing here on the Exports Network. Hood Company Real Estate is highlighting the beautiful home located at 786 Hillview Drive in Lawrenceburg as this week's property of the week. This spacious four bedroom, four bath brick residence sets on a picture perfect three plus acre lot and features an attached extra large two car garage. This is a solid custom built home with many updates including a new HVAC system and tankless hot water heater plus the price has recently been reduced. For more on this and many other homes check out hoodcompanyhome.com or phone 931-762-5816. Going the distance with local sports. This is the X Sports Network. And back here on the X Sports Network, here at Jim Chance Field, here on the campus at Lawrence County High School, as your Lawrence County Lady Cats lead the Lady Tigers of Murfreesboro Central Magnet 13 to nothing here in the bottom of the fourth, after a outstanding double play by the Lady by, well, not just Lady Kate King, but also by Lady Cats to be able to get the double play. And leading things off for the Lady Cats will be number two, center fielder, Michaela Kerr. She's had an outstanding game so far. She's reached base all three times after a RBI triple, her first at bat, a two RBI double, and then a, another RBI double as well. So that will be outside for ball one. There's the 1-0 count. Low for ball two. Here's the 2-0 pitch. On the outside edge of the plate, four strike one, two one count now. Two one pitch. Is that swung on? And that will be sent into left field, and that will be a base hit for Michaela Kerr. Now brings up number one, Addie Newton, the shortstop. Pitch swung on. Kerr will take off for a second. She will be in there. That 
one pitch to Newton. That will hit Newton, and she will trot her way over to first. I believe that's the second time she's been hitting this ball game. And I stand corrected. Now brings up number 51, Riley Myers. She's had a two RBI home run her first at bat. Looking to do the same thing this at bat. Here's the pitch. Inside for ball one. Runners will take off. They will be safe. McCurr will be at third. Excuse me. Michaela Kerr will be at third, and Newton will be at first. As I tried to say her name all at once, and it didn't really work out. So that last pitch was a ball. As it looks like they intentionally walked Riley Myers. That will now bring up Frakes with the bases loaded once again with no outs here in the bottom of the fourth. First pitch to Frakes, low for ball one. Here's the 1-0 pitch. Swung on, sent into left field. That will be a run scored. Two runs will score, and that will be a two-RBI single for Reagan Frakes. And that will now end the ball game, and Lawrence County will come victorious 15 to nothing here in this ball game. As Lawrence County, they will improve to – Five and three overall, three and one within the district, and Central Magnet will fall to two and five overall, zero oh and four within the district. So, Lawrence County comes home victorious here at Jim Chance Field. They will be back in action on Friday in the Bob Jones Tournament in Huntsville, Alabama, as they will be taking on Skyline. So for now, that'll do it for this broadcast here on the Exports Network. My name's Hayden Burks. We will see you. We will see you Saturday. Good night. Going the distance with local sports. This is the X Sports Network.